The fifth season of Cobra Kai is fast approaching, and if we're being honest here, it's not coming fast enough. But on the bright side, we can at least use the time we have before its release to talk about our hopes and expectations for it, which is why today I'll be taking you through everything we know so far about Cobra Kai Season 5. But before we get into that, I'll just take a second to remind you to hit that subscribe button and turn that notification bell on. Now with that said, let's get to the video. After the fifth season of Cobra Kai went official, we found it a bit odd that it would be released a bit earlier than usual, especially since the previous season came out in December 2021. But I don't think that that should matter much to us since the earlier the better. We even got a full-length trailer to enjoy as well, and it came packed with a lot of action and teases into the upcoming stories. First, we saw the big comeback, followed by Terry Silver's diabolical plans for Cobra Kai's dojo. We even got a brief look at both Johnny and and Robbie's trip to Mexico to find Miguel. So, from the looks of things, season 5 has a lot installed for us. Luckily, a bunch of other teasers were dropped by the showrunners in interviews, and we caught them all. We also rounded up everything there is to know about the upcoming series, and that also includes exclusive quotes from the producers, as I said. We will be running through the cast and the potential plot for this new season, so buckle up and let us begin. <laughs> Based on the official announcement, the fifth season of Cobra Kai will be released on Netflix on September 9th, 2022. And like I said earlier, this contradicts their usual December-January release window. Perhaps it might be the final season. We'll discuss more on that later. As for the episodes, they'll be released at once, unlike other series. Besides the potential storyline, the trailer also revealed a lot of characters for the fifth season. First, we know that Daniel and Johnny will definitely return, which means both Ralph and William are back to reprise their roles. Courtney also makes a return as Amanda. And the same thing as well for Vanessa, who comes back as Carmen. Terry will also play a big part in season five, which also means more of Thomas Ian Griffith. While Martin Love will also return as John once again. Season four also confirms that Yuji will will return to reprise his role as Chosen in Season 5. We can also expect Griffin back as Anthony, while the newcomer Dallas returns as Kenny and makes him a regular in the series according to Deadline. We also have confirmation from Deadline that Alicia will join the cast as Kim, a South Korean sensei and a big piece of Silver's ominous plans for the Cobra Kai dojo. As for the rest of the cast, expect to see familiar faces like Zolo as Miguel, Mary as Samantha, and more. But we still don't know if Paul will return as Stingray after his strange part in season 4. <laughs> While season 4 took a bit of a shift from what we expect from Cobra Kai, we expect season 5 will deal with that fallout. For one thing, not even the combined forces were enough to beat Cobra Kai at the All Valley. So how is everyone going to beat them now that Terry wants to open more dojos? The fight is definitely on and it seems like Daniel is still determined to bring down Cobra Kai despite losing the deal. But perhaps he might get his wish this season, especially after enlisting Chosen for Hope. Don't forget that Chosen also knows a lot more than he gives out, so perhaps he might have a trick or two up his sleeves in this new season. The partnership might even have a serious challenger for Silver and Cobra Kai, according in the trailer. In an interview with Games Radar Plus, this is what the co-creator John had to say about Chosen's return. Chosen is one of our favorite characters in the franchise. When he returned in season 3, the scenes that he had with Ralph were some of our favorites in that season, both from a karate standpoint but also a comedy standpoint. We love that dynamic and just what he brings, and beyond that, he's got demons. He has things that he's working through himself in life, so he's a fully realized character that has work to be done, and what better time for him to come to the United States and join the fight in the Valley than when Terry Silver is on top. As for someone like John, I don't think he'll be too involved in Season 5. Don't forget that he was arrested after Silver framed him for brutally beating Stingray, which means he might apparently be facing 
facing some jail time, so at this point, it's anyone's guess how involved he will be in the next season. But if we're being fair, he's proven tougher to beat on different occasions, though, so I wouldn't count him out just yet. From Silver's betrayal to the threats made on the prize pupil Johnny Lawrence, speaking as such, we will see a lot more of Johnny in season 5 as both he and Robbie are currently on Miguel's trail. The journey will take them to Mexico where Miguel went into search of his father. Perhaps he wants to make amends with Miguel, but this event might actually put a strain on the relationship with Robbie. Sure, not everything seems to be smoothing sail with these three, but perhaps the journey might wash away all the bad blood between them. As for the students, nothing seems clear about their future yet. Daniel won't shut down his dojo after all, so perhaps the kids will continue their karate training. Cobra Kai, on the other hand, plans on expanding their dojo, but from the looks of things, they might lose a couple of students in season 5. Robbie might be one of them, while Troy could be another, either because of their bond with Amanda or because of the things she overheard about Cobra Kai in season 4. As for Eagle Fang, they will most likely continue training at the Mia Doji. We still don't know if they will honor the deal they made with Cobra Kai, so that will be a major talking point in season 5. But either way, we expect season 5 will have a lot of action for us, at least according to the co-creator Hayden, who said, We've just shot season 5 and we ended up in the situation where the finale is, I don't want to say bigger, but there's a lot of action going in on our season 5 finale. And so, it's become that way. And we do see in subsequent seasons, we're knocking on wood, hoping that we can continue past season 5 because we didn't write that as an end. He continues further saying, We have another in store. We still do have some of our biggest fireworks and biggest canyons left, so we know that we have some big epic things up our sleeve. The fascinating thing about the story is that it has cameos from the Karate Kid universe and all you have to do is spot them, at least according to the interview with Deadline where he said, There's a lot of insanity if you're a fan of the franchise. Maybe some familiar faces show up, maybe not. There's going to be a lot of karate. With all of that being said and done, we still have to ask this important question. Well, as of right now, we still don't have any confirmation on a potential season 6 just yet, but a couple of the creators like Josh, Hayden, and John have already publicly stated that they plan to bring in more seasons. In an interview with Collider, here's what Josh had to say. It's changed at times, but it also hasn't. We still have an endgame. We're still writing beyond season 5, but it's been fun to bring in those characters and storylines and let them lead the way sometimes. Times. The others also support this claim with John indicating a sixth season, while Hayden suggests they could go beyond six seasons. But whether or not it goes beyond five seasons, I still see a bright future for the series. So let's see what the future holds. <laughs> And there you have it. Are you as excited as we are for the fifth season of Cobra Kai? If so, what are you most excited about? And whose story will interest you the most? We'd love to see your thoughts in the comment section down below. You can also hit that like and subscribe button if you never want to miss another amazing video from us. Take care and have a great day ahead. You okay? Stop!